Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another TNT. one. TNT. So, Yo. I just got to talk about like the comedy of errors that happens in sports sometimes. Okay, okay. We talk so, about how the Cleveland Browns won their first game. I mean, that's a comedy of errors, too. No, but some real Browns ish happened to another team. The 40 and 0 lost to the. Uh, is that the one we're talking about? Who? Oh, the Cowboys? Yeah, the oh, Cowboys no, no, no. versus the Giants. No, no, no. What we're talking about is a major star switched teams in the offseason. Is, <laughs> is this a Deion Sanders bit? No, no. He actually is a coach. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> yeah, he switched, so, but he switched schools so and huge people are pissed. story of the offseason. What was Aaron Rodgers going to do? Oh, no. He, all this big rigmarole, oh. da, da, da. First drive of the MF season tears his Achilles tendon. Oh, poor Aaron Rodgers. All his holistic medicine is going to get him back soon, though. Poor AR. He said, you don't even know what's going to happen. I'll be back for the playoffs. I'm like, bitch, you just tore your Achilles in September. And yo, what's crazy is that AR is like 47 years old, too. I swear to God, AR is 88 years old, so there's no chance. Yeah, dude. So I was like, that's some Brown stuff to happen. It's like you get a brand new franchise quarterback. Yeah. Blows out his Achilles on the first. It's so funny. There's a guy I work with, and he's a Jets fan. And, like, he hit me up, like, in the offseason. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't talk to him very often. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, this is our year, man. We're going to the Super Bowl. No. And then, like, and then he's called out all week. Yeah. I think he's he's on watch. Bro, It's it's got to suck. And, like, honestly, like... <laughs> I can't even take any, like, there's no shot in Freud whatsoever. That man's 39 years old. I just look it up. He's 39 years old. He just tore his ACL. No, he tore his Achilles. He tore his Achilles. I'm Which sorry. is, I think, worse than tearing your yeah, ACL, is, probably. There's, there's no, dude, he's probably done for life. When yeah, you it, well, it. that usually takes, like, a year or two to recover, for, especially for an uh, athlete. Like, like, if you tore your Achilles, like, yeah, you'd probably be back up on your feet in a couple months, and, like, you but. You could like go to work and do whatever, Bro, he, but like yeah. he could, could go be a professional athlete. Nah. And that, and you're talking two years. So will you go come back to football when you're 43? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how your math works, but sure, absolutely. <laughs> I'm saying you know he hasn't had a birthday yet, so <laughs> I'm just saying it's like so he goes from 39 to 43 in two years because he hasn't had a birthday yet. I th- yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, okay, yeah. that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Glad you realize. Sense. I yeah. get it. Yeah. So yeah, dude, I don't know, man. Uh, I just can't. It sucks. It sucks. Sometimes things are just like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. weird. Oh. It's like it's like. The worst thing that can happen just happen, and then people wonder why they have like, but you know they think like that. You know what I mean? It's like, oh man, I always prepare for the worst. Yeah, yeah. It's, that, I mean, you never know what's gonna happen, man. That's for damn sure. I was I was reading the thing though. I'm gonna get your take on this. Mm-hmm. So, they it said that by preparing. For the worst and like so not so you're in like limiting yourself to vulnerability like that you're actually like keeping yourself from like getting to where you want to go yes 100 percent. so it's like it's like you're just like oh like this is gonna happen anyway so i'm not even gonna do it yes. like you're not even uh it's like you're it's like yeah you don't see the highs or the lows but you don't see the highs either <laughs> yeah uh yeah yeah that's that's one hundred percent true, and like I said, exercise and critical thinking. I would say is that preparation is kind of like anti acceptance. It's like you are you doing everything because the only thing you really can do to influence your your future is preparation, whether it be long term or short term. You you know you prep yourself in the future by having a savings account, or you you prepare yourself by making sure you have a bottle of water when you go on a hot trip. Preparation is the only thing we can do to influence our future. So to think that you can prep for everything is kind of insane. And it would be an exercise in futility as well. This is probably just like mentally stressing to be trying to calculate every instance of any any altercation. That yeah, can it's like you're it's like you're preparing yourself for the despair that you may never yeah. feel. Yeah, it's insurance. But like, is it really like if you're like, so say, for example, you're like you you like you don't 
you start dating like a new girl and you and you don't let let her get close to you because you're afraid she's going to leave you and then you end up pushing her away when she really could have been an amazing person. They could have been your person, but you didn't even get a chance to know her because sure. you're just afraid that she was going to leave. Sure. Yeah, dude. It's like it's wild to think about like yeah, how much stuff people don't do to save themselves the pain of it happening when yes. you don't even know it's going to happen. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's without true. without the risk, there's no reward. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, it's very interesting, man. Like I don't and know, you, and you can't you can't. You, you, that's why I say that preparation is anti acceptance, man. Accepting that life is going to throw you curveballs is 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 a part is a part of life. It's a part of it. So when I think of being prepared or over or even thinking about being overly prepared, I'm like, bro, just ride the wave sometimes. Just ride the wave. Yeah, but but there's a balance, right? There's like, definitely a balance. You can't just be not prepared at all. No, that's that's like you said. No, I'm going on a hike in the wood in the mountains, and yeah. I don't take a bottle of water, and then I yeah. die of thirst because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Like, but sometimes I feel like you have to throw caution to the wind and say, you know what, I'm gonna just go ahead and take the chance, and you might you you, you may be missing out on certain experiences if you indulge yourself in you know how preparation. Hard that is to do when you're not when you're used to not doing that. No, because I'm used to doing stepping it. Stepping outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Challenging. Stepping outside your comfort zone, definitely challenging. Yes. That well, that's right. challenging for everybody. It's like it well, it's just <laughs> the same example with like dating. It's like if you're just like, Oh, she would never want to date me, if you never ask her, maybe she would say yes. Yeah, yeah, it's you, true. you know what I mean? And that's true. then you're like, I didn't even I'm I'm in my bedroom alone crying in my sheets. Wow. <laughs> While she's out with another It's a cry for help. <laughs> no, it's been a couple of those in this recording session. I just want to let you know. <laughs> well, we do all these? We do a lot of these videos in bulk, and Jonas has been has been alluding <laughs> to some shit lately. He's been alluding <laughs> to the emptiness inside him. Just saying. You're like this is a comedy podcast. You're like when I feel dead inside. <laughs> I mean, to everybody else, it's going to be like, huh, Jonas being Jonas again. To me, it's like this man like, may need all of this. He may need a cupcake or something. Oh, I don't even like cupcakes. Yeah, no. I, but you know it does sound really that's good? A red velvet them. cupcake with cream cheese frosting? Nope, that sounds gross. Bruh. What? I don't know, man. Red velvet is either hit or miss. It's either delicious or it's it worse. It better thing. be moist. If you get dry red velvet, you better slap it out of somebody's hand. I mean, that's very true. Do you um, like moist cake? <laughs> <laughs> It's a serious question. No, it's not. <laughs> it, really, it really is not. That's not a serious question. Some people like dry cake, bro. I was letting you go with it. I was thought you were going to go somewhere with it. No, it's just, I meant it by like, do you like your cake more? When you when dry? you start cooking, I'm going to let you cook. Yeah, sometimes I cook hard. So do you, do you want me to cook? You want me to help you in the kitchen? I need some cooking help. Right? <laughs> what? And you asked me if I no. want to. If I need some cooking help, yeah. right? Yeah, you want some help in the kitchen? Do you like moist cake? That's the question I asked you. Yes. <laughs> the way you said it, that's very weird. Was it? <laughs> Pretty sure I just said yes. What's your What's your favorite kind of cake? That's a good question. Yeah. See? What, what are the different variations of cake? Oh my Jones? god! Give me, there's, give me a, there's you, yellow you listing shit off. Let's that see: I don't yellow, care white, chocolate, yellow, white, red chocolate, velvet, all the angel races. food, angel food, ill. That's like a spun. I think is that like good. what a strawberry shortcake is? Oh, that's gross. I'm gonna tell know. you right now. Fuck strawberry shortcake. That shit is gross. It does not make sense. My this grandma used to make the strawberries that you put over the straw. It's like cornbread essentially. Strawberry shortcake. But is that's angel food cake. No, that's like the spongy kind. I thought that. Oh, I'm like, talking about the little like yellow like depressed okay. cakes. Yeah, the one that looks like the uh, Mr. Scrubbies. Yeah, the one that looks like a it looks like a, a cornbread dish. Yeah, I don't know, Jones. I'm gonna hard set say yellow, but tentatively, only because yellow we're short cake, on time. Really? I can't think of anything else. What that kind of frosting on top of that, though? Uh, Vanilla, uh, chocolate, cream cheese. Now nah, I think about it, that sounds so gross. Just give me a German chocolate, man. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh no, you know what? I take it back. Cheese, cheesecake. That's not even cake, yeah, though, I'm bro. Sorry, what is it called? What? what it's called it? cheesecake, but, but it's really a pie. It's, I don't even know if it's a pie. I think it, I think it it's like a pie. it's just like sugar and cream cheese on a graham cracker crust. <laughs> it's not. How is that? <laughs> it's just congealed green That's cheese. That's all it is. It's not even. It's oh, not even cake yeah. or pie. It's just like I sugar. Mean, it's which, so 
good though. It is delicious. Oh my god! Like if I get one of the miscellaneous with the wheeled caramel chocolate shits oh my god dude man this oh the miscellaneous uh cheesecake wheels oh works. my uh, god dude and so good anyways what's your favorite kind of cheesecake put that ish in the comments go to the crazy too that's where we live for jonas tnt yep